a lot of times when we're watching Star Wars or reading Star Wars stories, it's always from the perspective of the good guys. But from a certain point of view, the Empire did nothing wrong. Well, StarWars.com just announced a comic book series focused on a TIE fighter and how it's crossing over with Alphabet Squadron, a novel that's slated for later this year. We're going to talk about what these two stories could be about, plus show you the covers right now in this breaking news video of Beyond the Panel. Thanks for checking out this video. If you haven't already, give me a thumbs up down below. And if this is your first time to be on the Blast Doors, thank you so much. Welcome. Be sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. So that way, when I drop videos like this or we go live for a weekly episode, you're the first to know when it happens. I am overjoyed to talk about right now some brand new information we're learning from StarWars.com. We're learning and getting our first looks, really, at Star Wars TIE Fighter. It's a comic book miniseries. And then we're getting the cover for Alexander Freed's Alphabet Squadron novel that comes out later this summer. I'm over the moon because we're learning that he's not just writing one book. Alexander Freed is actually writing a trilogy, three books for us to enjoy. And it's Rebels After Return of the Jedi. That's the one time in Star Wars canon timeline I want to explore more. But let's start with the new, newer news, right? We didn't know that there was a Star Wars TIE Fighter Focus comic book series coming out, so it's a miniseries. I'm speculating five issues in this miniseries, but listen to the sentences. There's two sentences that they give to kind of give you background on what this exactly is, this comic book series, and it has me at the edge of my seat. Like, literally, I'm sitting at the edge of my seat right now while I think about it. From a certain point of view, the rebels are traitorous to the Empire, putting the innocent people of the galaxy at risk. In the last days of the Galactic Civil War, an elite squadron of TIE fighter pilots known as Shadow Wing is assembled to protect Imperial interests. This starts in April. We're going to meet these pilots, these brave pilots of uh, Shadow Wing. And it actually ties into Alexander Freed's alphabet novel, uh, Alphabet Squadron novel, rather. That's the first of three books. So I'm really excited about it. I like how they're taking the novels and the comics and doing this crossover event. I don't think we've seen that done before, and that's really exciting to me because it feels like another payoff. Like I work really hard to stay up on the books and the comics, and to see them cross is really exciting. What's even more exciting is the fact that here we are in the last minutes of, uh, the last moments, rather, of the Galactic Empire. That's a really fascinating timeline to me, and I think it's cool that we're going to see events from the Rebellion perspective in Freed's novel, and this comic book miniseries is going to allow us to see from the, the eyes or the lenses of the Imperials, and I think that, that perspective is really cool. You know, We got it in uh, the Battlefront novel, we got that in uh, Lost Stars, got to see kind of like what it was like for those on the Imperial side of things. This has me really excited, and not only does... Uh, the story had me excited, the artwork. Let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, the. this is number one. This is the first issue comic cover for Star Wars TIE Fighter, and it's this bright and bold and beautiful image that I have as my desktop background, my phone background, my screensaver, anything and everything is this image because it's a lot of explosions and bright reds and yellows and some oranges, but you're seeing this TIE Fighter pilot. We obviously assume this is probably shadow wing, a shadow wing pilot, but you're seeing the B-wings and the X-wings and the TIE fighters and the skirmish behind the pilot in the uh, panes there. And then in the eye lenses of the TIE pilot, you see these, this, maybe it's the same TIE fight or the same X-wing, or maybe it's two X-wings, but they're coming right at this pilot. And I just love the, the yellow hue over here on the right side of the helmet and then uh, the bottom left for the from the TIE fighter pilot's perspective. It just looks like maybe there's an explosion happening and the explosion is you know showing on the pilot or maybe uh, those are shots being fired. I don't know. It just looks great. It looks beautiful. And I want to remind you, uh, if you didn't know this already, that this comic series is written by Jody Hauser. She gets credit for Marvel's like uh, the Star Wars Thrawn series adaptation from the book and uh, the Rogue One Star Wars story uh, comic adaptation, but you got to know her from all of these single shots she's doing right now for Age of Republic. Like, she absolutely crushed them. Qui-Gon Jinn, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Jango Fett, she did one of the stories in the special, um, the Age of Republic special I talked about a few days ago on the channel. She's doing great work. Art is going to be Rogue uh, Antonio, or is it Rogue Antonio? One of the ways. Sorry to say your name wrong, but I know you do great work. Uh, there's also going to be other artists involved, including, <laughs> listen to this, Giuseppe Camincoli and uh, Ilia Bonetti are coming back 
to do some artwork for this, and it's going to be stellar. Of course, we know Giuseppe Camincoli from his work on the Darth Vader uh, run that just wrapped up with Charles Soule writing. So really excited to see that Giuseppe is still going to be doing work in the Star Wars realm when it comes to Marvel Comics. Let's take a look now at Alphabet Squadron. This cover, also breathtaking, a lot less going on there, but maybe there's more going on here. We have this fierce rebel. Uh, she is, uh, I say fierce because the haircut to me is fierce, but you can tell she's rebel because she's holding a helmet. She has a blaster in her hand. We know that this book is called Alphabet Squadron. Uh, makes sense, right? X-Wing, A-Wing, Y-Wing, B-Wing, U-Wing. You see them all here on the cover. But we actually got some additional information about this book thanks to Del Rey on Twitter. So FYI, Alphabet Squadron, cover pilot is uh, Re Eureka Quell. I think that's how you say it. There's, I'm sure someone along this thread asked how you pronounce it, but we're going to go with Eureka Quell, Imperial Defector. She flies an X-Wing. What's Alphabet Squadron doing? Tracking down a mysterious lethal force of TIE fighters that probably, possibly could be Shadow Wing. Who told them that they could do that? New Republic General Hera Syndulla. She's kind of a big deal. Uh, it's a huge big deal because when I just said moments ago how this crossover feels like a reward to me for investing so much in canon and keeping up with it and seeing the novels and the comics crossover, now I'm getting rewarded because I know Harrison Dula from Rebels. And, you know, we got that nugget of uh, the ghost and her name being said in uh, Rogue One. Here's just another reward for being a participant in this Star Wars story beyond the movies. So, like, I am excited beyond all get out for this. Uh, I think it's going to be really exciting. The fact that uh, Alphabet Squadron is going to be going up against Shadow Wing, that seems like a safe assumption. Uh, that seems how it's all setting up. So again, our first taste of the story is going to be in April with Star Wars TIE Fighter number one dropping. June 11th rolls around. We get Alphabet, uh, Alphabet Squadron, that first novel. Uh, no release dates on the second two novels of that trilogy, but I'm sure more information is going to drop. And be sure you stay in, up to date here with us on Beyond the Blast Doors. What do you think about all this? What do you think about the, the novel cover artwork? What do you think about this new Star Wars TIE Fighter comic? that we are getting here in a couple of months. I want to let you know down in the comments below, and theories are actually already being sent in to me. And I want to read this one from uh, Instagram user Kenneth Matthew 1183 Wonders, uh, Kenneth wonders if Sina Ray will be in this. She was a Thai pilot. So uh, he is referencing a character that we met in Lost Stars. He actually goes on to say maybe some things that happened off screen, I guess you could say in Lost Stars, are possibly even from those battles in comic book form. So wondering how many kinds of cameos and crossovers we could get in this crossover event. Uh, it's probably not going to be the only one, so it's not like we have to throw everybody in it. But it would be really cool to see characters from other novels that we know existed in this time period make an appearance. There's a lot of characters you can draw from the Aftermath trilogy with, with Chuck Wendig. Um, there's characters that you can draw on um, from maybe Shattered Empire, the, the comic book that came out uh, kind of right at the beginning there of the Disney canon reboot. There's a lot of potential, and I guess that's what's going to be so exciting moving forward as we get to April, and of course March, we get that Darth Vader miniseries, so we'll read that, but then we'll go to uh, April, and we'll get issue number one of Star Wars TIE Fighter and find out all about that. And of course, in June 11th, we'll go get the Alphabet novel. They just keep coming back. We just keep coming back for more. We just giving them the, our, our money. It's okay. It's all fun. It's Star Wars. It's 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 a good investment. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Are you excited for the new comic? Are you excited about the new novel? Are you excited about the crossover? Will you be buying and following these stories? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching Beyond the Blast Doors. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Beyond the Blast Doors, a Star Wars conversation.